they all look like curves. So today I'm going to use this Desmos over here to help you see the shape of the curves. Okay, let's look at DES MOS. This is the website you can go to. Yeah, this is very useful. When I ask you to plot graphs, you can actually use this as a reference. Just key in the equation, then the graph will come out. You can use this to help to confirm your answer. Okay? So for example, I'm going to start with page 92, section C. They want us to sketch uh, y equals to, hang on, uh, y equals to negative x squared, then plus 2x plus 3. Okay, so this in red color is the graph that I have. Y equals to negative x squared plus 2x plus 3. Okay, what is the shape of this graph? Can you fill out the first blank? What is the shape of the graph? What do you think is the answer? It is a parabola that opens downwards. You can say, you can write down parabola opening downwards. Okay? That is your first blank, shape of the graph. Now, can you tell me, what is the, is there a line of symmetry for this graph? Where is the line of symmetry? What do you think? What equals to one? What is my line of symmetry? Come on. Y equals to four. X equals to one. X equals to one is our line of symmetry over here. Imagine if you draw, if you have a dotted line down, then the left side and the right side, they are the same. So that's our line of symmetry, x equals to one. What is the maximum or minimum point? What point do we have over here? Maximum or minimum? Maximum, okay, what, is the, what are the coordinates? One, four. Okay, please write that down. And finally, number of points of intersection with the x-axis. How many times does it intersect your x-axis? Two times, right? One over here, one over here. So two times. Finally, number of times it intersects the y-axis. One time only, just here. Okay? Now I'm going to show you the second graph. y equals to negative x squared. And plus three. Okay. This is the blue color, my second graph. Can you fill out the answers as well? What is the shape? What is the line of symmetry? Then the maximum or minimum point, and how many times it cuts. Are we also done? Are you done? Filling up the blanks. Fill it up now. Huh? Page 92. Now that you ask me what page. Okay, blue color graph. What is the shape? Parabola opening downwards. Okay. Then line of symmetry, what do you have? X equals to Kai. What's the line of symmetry for the blue graph? X equals to zero. All these things you must know how to find out because you will be tested. So far when I tell you the things that will be tested, most likely they come out right. So trust me, we like to ask also, what is the line of symmetry? You must be able to identify. This vertical line is X equals to zero. Is that a minimum or maximum point? Yes, that is a maximum point, and the coordinates are 0, 3. Okay, then the number of intersection points, again we have 2 in the x-axis and 1 in the y-axis. I'm going to draw you the final graph. y equals to negative x squared minus 4x oops, plus 3.
Okay. Green color is the last one. So fill in the blanks. Okay, Natasha, what's your shape of photograph? Parabola? Opening downwards. Okay. Then, what is the line of symmetry, Afi? X equals negative 2. Good. And what is the minimum or maximum point, Ali? What's the x coordinate first? Yeah, maximum point. So what is the x coordinate? Why zero? X zero is on my y axis, no? Don't waste my time. X is negative equals to negative two. So you get the highest point. What is the corresponding y value? Seven. Okay. How many times does it intersect your x-axis? Two times. One here and one here. Then it also intersects your y-axis at one certain point. Okay, so what do you notice about the all these three graphs? Do they have the same shape? How, what is the shape again? Parabola opening downwards. Or like some of you like to say, the nickname is a uh, set phase. Okay, so what is it about these three equations that gives us a parabola opening downwards. Oh, y'all know? Oh, y'all learned before, is it? Okay. Yeah, last year, in sec, in fact, sec 2, you have been taught a bit about your parabola so, so. Your coefficient of x squared. Notice that it is a negative number. This negative number in front of the x squared tells you whether it opens downwards or upwards. Okay, let me just show you one example, okay? Y equals to 5x squared. Okay, the coefficient over here, 5x squared, the coefficient of x squared in this case, the black graph, is a positive number. And because it is positive, I get a parabola opening upwards. It's a happy face now, okay? But I'm gonna hide this because that's not my point currently. And what else do we notice? about the y-intercept. What's the y-intercept for all three graphs? Yeah, the y-intercept is three. They are all the same. Do you know why? Because all of them have a plus three. What is so special about this? Do you remember how we get y-intercept? What happens when I, have, when I want to find the y-intercept? x is equal to 0. When we have y in the set, we are looking for x equals to 0. And if I substitute x equals to 0 here, and x equals to 0 here, my y will be equal to 3 for the first graph. If I substitute x equals to 0 here, I will also get y equals to 3. When I substitute x equals to 0 in my green graph, I will still get y equals to 3. Okay? So for this, we can say that the highest point the observations for these three graphs, the highest point, the maximum point are all different. They are all having the same shape, a parabola opening downwards, and they all cut the y-axis at the same point, which is 0, comma, 3. Okay? All right, that's all I want to talk about this. I shall go now to part 3a. Okay, now let's look at 3a. The first graph we have is y equals to 2x squared plus 6x plus 3. Okay, this is my graph, red color. Shape of the graph. 
parabola opening upwards. Line of symmetry, what is it? What is this? This is 1, negative 1, negative 1.5. So x equals to negative 1.5. Okay, then is there a minimum point or maximum point? Minimum, minimum very, very obvious, right? It is a graph that has a minimum point. And the coordinates over here, negative 1.5, comma, negative 1.5. Number of intersections with x axis 2, number of intersections with y axis 1. Okay? Next graph, we have y equals to 2x squared plus 6x. Okay, in blue color now. Again, parabola opening upwards. You notice the pattern of the coefficient of x squared? As long as it is a positive number, it will open upwards. Whereas earlier on, when the coefficient of x squared is negative, it will open downwards. Okay, so line of symmetry. What is this? What is this point over here? X equals to negative 1.5 also. Okay, over here, minimum point. And the coordinates are negative 1.5, negative 4.5. Number of times cutting the x-axis is still 2, and number of times it cuts the y-axis is 1. It cuts at the origin. Final graph, y equals to 2x squared, then plus 6x minus 7. Okay, green color. So, line of symmetry, is, what do you think is the line of symmetry? x equals to negative 1.5, right? But how do I confirm if I don't want to zoom in? You know, the good thing about this graph, huh? the good thing about this Desmos is that they know we are interested in some things. For example, intercepts. x intercept, y intercept. They will tell us what is it. See? They will tell you what is the y intercept also. Something else that they like to tell you is minimum maximum point. Okay? Over here. This is the minimum point. Now that I show you the minimum point, which is negative 1.5 comma negative 11.5, do you think you can tell me the line of symmetry? Yes or no? What's the line of symmetry? X equals to negative 1.5. Okay, it is the same all here. The, the thing that I want you to understand and observe is that your line of symmetry will always cut through your minimum point. That means once you know the x, x, the x coordinate, you know the line of symmetry. Okay? Same for your maximum point, huh? Then, some comments will be that they all have a parabola opening upwards because coefficient of x squared is positive. Okay? So have you remember, you can think that, oh, it is positive, so you are smiling. Okay, but that is the other way if you want to remember it. They are all symmetrical about the line x equals to 1, negative 1 1.5. And they all have a minimum point. Any questions? If there are no questions, I want you to take a look at example three. Hey, a lot of talking, huh? Example three. Draw the graphs of y equals to x squared plus 2x plus 1. y equals to x squared plus 2x plus 1. Okay, when you are asked to draw this graph, I expect graph paper. I expect a table of values, like what is shown in page 95. You must have all of them. Then you can join them with a smooth curve. Have you all drawn curves before? In maths. 
When? Really? Yeah. Okay. So you know how to use the French curve. There is a flexible ruler or the one with many, many curves. You choose whichever one you prefer. Okay, so I will have this graph y equals to x squared plus 2x plus 1. Then another graph y equals to x squared again minus 3x minus 4. Okay, I'm getting irritated by all the talking. Okay, so two graphs over here, red and blue. Similarities. What are the similarities that you can see? Uh, small, okay, we cannot write smiley face in our exam. There are parabolas opening upwards. What else? A what? Positive gradient. No, we can't say positive gradient because you know how to find the gradient of a straight line, but you haven't learned how to find the gradient of a curve yet, right? Okay, both of them have a minimum point. Regarding the gradient, we'll come to that next time. Okay, in this curve, there are there is different steepness, so different gradient. We leave that to next time. These two curves, they also have a minimum point. So these are the observations that we can see. Then differences will be on page 96. Okay, you see that the red curve, it touches my x-axis, whereas my blue curve, it cuts the x-axis at two points. That's one difference. The other difference, red curve has a line of symmetry on the left-hand side of the y-axis, whereas the blue curve has a line of symmetry on the right-hand side of the curve. This is just observations of the two different curves. Okay? And you can read the rest yourself. What about things like application questions? For example, in example number four, okay, you are given a bridge and they tell you a story. Then they say that the height of the cable over the bridge, it is actually a parabola and it follows the following equation. H equals to 0 0.03x squared minus 0.6x plus 5. Okay. So this is the curve. Then they ask you to draw it for the range. What is the range? We need one. What's the range? What's the range of the curve? Do we just keep drawing from negative 4,000 until 10, 100,000? When, when do we draw it? How much do we draw? Is it given in a question? They say that you draw for x between 0 and 20. Between 0 and 20. So I'm only interested in this region. This part only. Okay, from 0 to 20. You need to know what the scale is as well. So sometimes the question will tell you, oh, use two units or uh, two cm to represent one unit. Use 10, 10 cm represent two units, whatever it is. Just go and follow the instructions. Okay, so set up a table of values, then plot it out. Now part B, find the height of the cable at one end. We are only interested in from this part until x equals to 20. So what is the height at each end? What is the height at this point? 5. The height is 5. Okay, then the height over here is also 5. So it, it is symmetrical. Then find the minimum height of the cable above the bridge. So minimum point, we'll be looking at this point. Yep, so 2 meters. Find the line of symmetry. What's the line of symmetry? Cannot be just 10. X equals to 10. Equation must have an equal. X equals to 10. Straightforward? Yes, huh? Then I shall tell you now the homework questions.
Exercise 8.1. Question 4, 5A, and 6. Three questions. Question 4, 5A, and 6. Go lah, not next to you. Hang on. The homework is due... On Thursday, yes. Yes, Irfan? No, your lesson ends in three minutes. Huh? Do you think your teacher will come straight away? No. Okay, you can use this time to start on this now. Meanwhile, I have another thing to show you.